I thought I would show you how to make these cauliflower steaks. Have you ever made a cauliflower steak? I have not. Do you like cauliflower? Yes, I do. Okay. Sounds so, wonderful. <laughs> uh, find a nice head of cauliflower and make sure that you don't take the center core out. This is important because that sort of holds the steaks together. Okay. And, and you slice it. Uh, the end piece is not going to stay so well. So about okay. just around a quarter of an inch. So that's a steak. To me, it uh -huh. looks more like a slice of a brain. Yeah, it does. Doesn't it? <laughs> just make believe. Tell your kids it's a slice of a brain. So you don't use the end piece for uh, it. Well, you could. I you mean, could, I, I, would, I would eat okay. it because it's so good. Yeah. And you, um, oh, a little garlic, if you like garlic. Just a little yeah, touch yeah, just of it. a little bit in the olive oil. So that's it. And, and just let that cook on both sides until it's a, a okay. nice color. And here, this is what it looks like. And you can wow. cover it and it steams a little bit. It's pretty, right? Yes, yeah. very pretty. And it smells good. <laughs> and then the other thing uh, we want you to do is roast your peppers. Okay. And uh, have you roasted peppers before? I have not. Okay, so take a red, yellow, orange pepper um, uh, and put them right on the flame. Do you have a gas stove? Yes, I do. Okay, if you don't have a gas stove, you can put it in the broiler oh. or on a grill. Okay. And you blacken the skin like this. Wow. And then, because this is the bag show, I just want you to see that of that trillion bags, oops, uh, we recycle. We don't throw them away. They're more than one use, because this is what you buy your groceries in in the store, yeah. your, your vegetables. So put the, save them. I save all those bags. And, uh, and I use, use them, them for this. Well, I use them for this. I use them for doggy bags. Oh, that's a uh, smart idea. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and then just... Keep that like that. Just don't tie it tight because okay. you're going to untie it. And just let these steam. Let steam. And we have these already steamed. So you're going to get your cauliflower to look like that. And now have you, uh, since you've never roasted one before, what I use is a piece of paper towel. Oh, to get the skins off Yeah, okay. Yeah, you can do that. Um, or you can just do it with your fingers. I do not wash the pepper. Okay. Because a lot of people put it right under the water. I find it gets it takes away a lot of the taste. Yeah. So just put it here. You don't... Just use the paper towel and then you don't even get your fingers dirty, see? Oh, wow. Just pull the skin off. Oh, so just... Isn't that nice? Yes, it does. <laughs> yeah. And then this, this you could actually use again for, like if you have a compost bucket in your house, yeah. put all the compost in here and then take it out to the compost pile. We have uh, some couscous here and I'm making the, the little bit of um, colorful sauce to go on top. So this is the roasted red pepper diced. Okay. Roasted cherry tomatoes. Wow, bright yeah. colors. Yeah, yeah pretty. <laughs> uh, some pretty. capers. Chopped, mm. two tablespoons, and some, oh, I love this, uh, some parsley. You could wow. use basil if you have basil. Salt, pepper, a little bit of olive oil, like one tablespoon of uh, red wine vinegar and olive oil. That's a great ingredient yeah. to add in. And that's it. So easy, delicious, and you can have a spoon of couscous on each plate. Right. And this is... Just on the side? Yeah, that's okay. fine. Yeah. Okay. Bigger than that. I'm hungry. Okay. okay. This, is, this is delicious. All right. Okay. I'll give a little, another little scoop okay. to this one. And just put this over. 